watching YouTube. It's your girl Asia. And it's your boy BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. This is probably like one of the one of my favorite parts of the day. When we get a chance to sit down, kick back, and watch a movie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I know. We Finally get to put the, the puzzle together because I've been thinking this, about this since we left. This is the last of the trilogy right here. This is the last of the trilogy. Yeah, I'm kind of sad about it because it's really been, <laughs> it's been a really adventurous, like fun, exciting. Like the, the good thing is that they've kept it very interesting. But mm -hmm. I did read like in the comments that y'all were telling us that the, the part two was like the step the red-headed stepchild of, like, the three. <laughs> I saw that, too. I, saw that too. <laughs> I don't too. know who said that, but y'all were like, eh, wait till y'all see part three. So part three will be really good. Okay, but so. I'm excited, though. How does this go end? I don't know, because they're in two different places, yeah. and Doc took the car. Yeah, exactly. So, like, where we where we left off at in part two, they were, like, in two different places. Yeah. Doc was in 1885 or 1886. Yeah. And Marty got left in the 1950s right after he supposedly got himself sent back home mm -hmm. into 1980. Six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we so, about to so they're in two different time spaces. Yeah. Right now. So yeah. yeah. And we were talking about this, y'all. Make sure y'all go over and check out Patreon. Join the family over there, y'all. We were just talking about in detail what we think was gonna happen in this movie. <laughs> check out that free one. And yeah, just help support the channel as well, y'all. We certainly appreciate all the patrons that definitely have showed us some love and support. Uh and make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell, join the family and show. Saturday, November 12th. Okay, let's we'll keep up with it. November 12th. 1955. Okay. That car is so cool. This is him going back to the future. Look at his eyes. He's like, I can't believe it. Do your little victory dance. <laughs> look, look, look. Wake up. Okay, relax. Can't be. Just sent you back to the future. Yeah. I'm back from the future. Great. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> that great Scott again. <laughs> <laughs> so this is exactly where we left off at. Yeah. This is exactly where we left at. Okay, yeah, great. Because he came around back like, I know I'm back. Yeah, he fainted. Great Scott. <laughs> Date. Sunny. November 13th, 1955. Last night's time travel experiment was apparently a complete success. After that, I can't recall what happened. I don't even remember how I got home. Oh, I saw a vision of Marty say he had come back from the future. Hey, Doc. That's uh -oh. a good hypothesis. Ah! <laughs> it was him. Oh. It wasn't a dream. No, it can't be you. I sent you back to the future. <laughs> it doesn't make sense for you to be here. I refuse to believe that you are here. <laughs> Dear Marty, you will receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. I've gotten quite adept at shoeing horses and fixing wagons. Amazing. I actually end up as a blacksmith in the Old West. I have buried the DeLorean in the abandoned Delgado mine, shown mm. on the enclosed map. Hopefully it should remain undisturbed until you uncover it in 1955. Once you have returned to 1985, destroy the time machine. Do not attempt to come back here to get me. All right, according to this, the time vehicle sealed off in a side time. We may have to blast. Oh my gosh. So they're looking for... The car. The car now. Look at this. My initials! That means the time machine must be right through this wall! Doc be having Marty doing all kinds of things. Stir it up. <laughs> everything. He be into everything. I'm just hoping they find this thing. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Wow. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a cowboy. Sounds like a wonderful way to spend my retirement years. <laughs> Since I end up in 1885, perhaps I'm now in the history books. Come on, let's go. You got Emmett. Oh, that's Doc. That? Oh, snap. Doc! Doc! Don't show him. Oh, they got it. That's why they got to go back. Don't show him. Died September 7th, 1885. That's one week after you wrote the letter. In eternal memory by his beloved Clara. Who the hell is Clara? Shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. Yeah. <laughs> 
Buford Tannen was a notorious gunman whose short temper and a tendency to drool earned him the nickname Mad Dog. William McFly and family. Your relatives? It's him. There it is. What are you talking about there? Yeah. And it is true. All of it. Run into town. It is me who goes back there and gets shot. It's not gonna happen, Doc. Going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. <laughs> he told him not to come back there. I know. I knew they were gonna find a way, like some kind of way. That's yeah. so. That's the reason why that, they had to go back. That was the that was the twist right there. Nineteen eight to, to eighteen eighty five. Yeah, that that doc got killed a week after he went there. Yeah. Have you ever seen a western? Yeah, I have, doc. <laughs> Clint Eastwood never won anything like this. <laughs> Look at they got pink. He's trying to blend in. Hoverboard. All right. That's from the future. Future. This is all completely open country, so you'll have plenty of runout space when you arrive. Wednesday, September 2nd, 1885, 8 a.m., so you have five days to locate me. All you have to do is drive the time vehicle directly toward that screen. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm going to crash into those Indians. And those Indians won't even be there. We hope so. <laughs> if it works. They might be there. <clears throat> they did just pull this thing from underground. Yeah. All right. Come on, Marty. He got, he got that thing cranked up now. He about to go. Go save Doc. <laughs> Just go, go, go. Oh, they, they oh, still there. They still there. <laughs> Like a little doom buggy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he went through the Indians and ran into some anyway. He said the Indians won't be there. Exactly. <laughs> and they were coming out. straight for him. Okay, well they weren't after him. That totally freaked him out. Okay, close the door, Marty. Lock it this time. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> at least one of, at least he didn't get one of those stuck in him. Oh no, something's oh, leaking. Oh, not the fuel. Mm. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. yeah, you're in the wrong cave. <laughs> no way. He <laughs> like forget these got a bear behind him. You got these little bright, stylish boots on. Right. Oh. oh. Maggie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No way. This can't be real. Wow. You've been asleep for nearly six hours now. And this horrible nightmare. That's not mom. That's great, 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 great grandma right here. You're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. McFly farm? <laughs> well, you're my, you're my, my, who are you? McFly, Maggie McFly. McFly? And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... Got a little Irish accent. Eastwood? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Clint. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the gorillas. This here is Mr. Clint Eastwood here. Visit him. He already <laughs> likes you, Mr. Eastwood. I've got supper. How is it that you came to be way out here? Without a horse, or boots, or a hat. Well, my car horse broke down and, and buried my boots, and I guess I just forgot my hat. <laughs> Will you hold him for a minute? You sure you're not after bringing a curse on this house, taking him in like that? I've just got a feeling about him, Maggie. Looking after him's the right thing to do. Look how the Bobby takes to him. So you're my great grandfather. Mm. Oh, great grandfather. Yep. Mm. No diaper. With his fly open, right on you. <laughs> so they took the railroad tracks right into town. Mm hmm. Hill Valley. Hill Valley. Huh, what do you know? Everything started in Hill Valley. What do you think he's doing right now? You think he's looking for Doc? He's looking, yeah, of course he is. He knows what he's looking for. The um He just look out of place. <laughs> a 
it, for sure he looks out of place. He's looking for the um the, the blacksmith in town, I think. Mm-hmm. No, they looking at him like, what does this man have on? Everybody's staring at him. I mean, wouldn't you? Look what he got on. Oh, look what they're building. Sticking out like a sore thumb. Oh, the tower. Yeah. Why, I didn't know the circus was in town. What'll it be, stranger? I'm trying to find the blacksmith. Hey, McFly! No freaking way. Hey, come in. You want to change, Mr. McFly? What's your name, dude? Uh, Mark Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> what kind of stupid name is that? I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen him? No, sir, Mr. Tannen. Oh, I have oh. not. You mad, Doc Tannen? Uh oh, oh, uh oh. Oh. Everybody just say, clear the bar. Nobody calls me mad, dog. Especially not some dooted up egg sucking gutter trash. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Look at him. Uh. Hee hee. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What is that? Is that the piss bucket? Oh no, he better run. Run. Oh, that was a spit bucket. He don't have no bullets. <laughs> He don't have no bullets. <laughs> he wasn't there 10 minutes. And, and, and Marty already getting shot at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he gonna rope him. Ah! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh. Took this boy back to the rodeo. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh. Man, they didn't stay drug him all the way. Oh, how about that stunt? Okay. Hot time we had a hanger. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh no! Oh snap! Uh -oh. Yeah! Oh snap! Hey, you got a little big old shotgun. You better be looking behind you when you walk, because one day you're going to get a bullet in your back. Hey, he, he told him. Marty, I gave you explicit instructions. No time. <laughs> I had to come. But it's good to see you, Marty. He got a scope on the rifle and everything. He, didn't, he just got this, this whole little situation situated. You walk around town dressed like that, you're liable to get shot. <laughs> or hanged. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Yeah. That was good. September 7th. That's this Monday. And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. I thought maybe she was a girlfriend of yours. My involvement in such a social relationship here in 1885 could result in a disruption of the space-time continuum. He gonna fall in love with her. Yeah. First sight. Marty, it's impossible. The idea that I could fall in love at first sight. <laughs> you just said that. Oh, listen, Doc, I tore a hole in the gas tank when I was landing. You mean we're out of gas? There's not going to be a gas station around here until the next century. Oh, no. So what do we do? Oh, wow. That's not going to do it. Uh, no. 24! Uh, un unless, uh, unless, they, unless they roll him off over like a cliff or something, a hill. I was just... Okay. This is a waste right now. I don't know how you're going to do this. <laughs> you got to take that back and hope you don't run into the bear. <laughs> Monday, it's three days away. Well, we know it won't run under its own power. We know we can't pull it. If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour, huh? Oh, the oh. train! Bingo. Well, I've had her up to 55 myself. You think it's possible to get it up to 90? I suppose if you had a straight stretch of track with a level grade, and if you could get the fire hot enough, it might be possible to get her up that fast. <coughs> It's a long stretch of level track that will still exist in 1985. Well, Doc, we can scratch that idea. Oh. You're just not thinking fourth dimensional. The bridge will exist in 1985. Therefore, as long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour, the track should be there. We'll have track under us. Okay. Safely across the ravine. I don't know. This still sounds risky. 
Hey, she just in the middle of nowhere. Okay, what is she doing? Girl, what you doing out there? I don't know, maybe the horse just went out of control or something. Oh, wow. Oh, it saved her life. Whoa. So much for all your little luggage. I'm in brown. I just heard this, Miss. Um, Clayton. <laughs> Clara Clayton. What a beautiful name. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's Clara a done made her way in. It's a done dilly. <laughs> I'll straighten everything out with Mr. Stafford for the buckboard rental. Don't you worry about that. Well, that would be very gentlemanly of you, Mr. Brown. Uh, Emmett. <laughs> Emmett. <laughs> How did you say that? Emmett. I suppose it was destiny. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Love at first sight. Mm -hmm. There it is. That Emmett. <laughs> That's a flirty wave. Oh, I do. In, in twenty. Yeah. Not like this. But... With the gloves on it and everything. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we load the DeLorean onto the tracks here. The train leaves the station at 8. We'll stop it here, on a couple of cars, roll the switch track, and then we'll hijack the locomotive and use it to push the time machine. What does this mean? Point of no return. Up until there, we still have enough time to stop the locomotive before it plunges into the ravine. It couldn't be simpler. Hello? Uh-oh. See, she's about to be a problem. <laughs> I hope I'm not disturbing anything. When my bags were thrown from the wagon, my telescope was damaged. I thought you might be able to repair it for me. Well, let's have a look at it. If you, if you move it this way. Oh, they're a little close. The other way. I can repair it right away and have it for you tonight. <clears throat> Tonight's the town festival. You, you are planning on attending, aren't you? Oh, well, actually, of course, the festival. I'll see you this evening at the festival, Emmett. You head over heels. It gives me great pleasure to dedicate this clock to the people of Hill County. No matter in a way, it's fitting that you and I are here to witness this. Too bad I didn't bring my camera. No, I don't know supposed to be fireworks. I think that was the 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 camera. Oh, it sparks like that. Yeah. Smile, Doc. Ah, uh, she was looking for him. You look very nice. Who's got a hand on Thank him? Thank you. Would you care to, to, uh... I love you. No. Give me that. <laughs> there he is, Buford. Dancing with that piece of calico. If I bury this muzzle deep enough in his back, nobody will hear the shot. You ain't got but one bullet with that. I only need one. No, he gonna shoot the girl, watch. Remember he... I told you to watch your back, Smithy. Look at what we have here. Ain't you gonna introduce me to the lady? I'd like a dance. I wouldn't give you that pleasure. All right. No, no, Emmett, I'll dance with him. You! Ha ha! Woo! He's a whoa! Ugh. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, <laughs> his hat got blown off. Hey, lighten up, jerk. <laughs> oh, that should make him feel better. Lighten up, jerk. Look, just leave my friends alone. You yellow! That's like saying chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody calls me yellow. Let's finish it right now. Marshall's got our guns. We'll finish this tomorrow. Tomorrow we're robbing the Pan City stage. What about Monday? We're doing anything Monday? You can kill him on Monday. I'll be back this way on Monday. Ooh. Seven o'clock. No! That's the time. So so instead of Doc, him, 
What are you doing saying you're gonna meet Tannen? Don't worry about it. Monday morning, 8 a.m., we're gonna be gone, right? You hot up, Mr. Estwood. You could have just walked away and nobody would have talked to less of you for it. Hot air from a buffoon. Instead, you let him roil you. Seamus, relax. I know what I'm doing. Where are they supposed to be from? Probably Ireland. I never ever met a man like you before. Going for the kiss. Oh, shooting star. Oh, shucky ducky. Oh, shucky ducky. Quack, quack. Going for it. <laughs> I just wanted a kiss, too. You deserve a kiss. Oh. Oh, he's feeling his stuff <laughs> now. He got, a, he got a whole different walk. Yeah, he got the whole different walk. The, the real cowboy outlaw walk. Good luck tomorrow, Mr. Thank you. I'm going to need them all. Look at that. The tombstone. Look, <laughs> they got their names on it. Both of y'all names, though. My name, it's vanished. Hey, that's great, Doc. No, only my name is erased. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. It may not be my name that's supposed to end up on this tombstone. Right. It may be yours. Great Scott. <laughs> great Scott. But if Buford Tannen comes looking for trouble, I'm going to be ready for him. Marty, you can't go losing your judgment every time someone calls you a name. Because my name ain't end up on the tombstone. <laughs> I've made a decision. I'm not going with you tomorrow. I'm staying here. I know why. Because of her. <laughs> I'm in love with Clara. Oh, man. Doc, we don't belong here. Anyone can make their future whatever they want it to be. I have to live my life according to what I believe is right in my heart. You're a scientist. What's the right thing to do up here? You're right, Marty. I've at least got to tell her goodbye. Come on, Doc. That's not, you don't need to do that. Don't do that. He's not going to understand that, Doc. Hell, I'm in it with you, and I don't even understand it. He's not going to leave. He sure don't want to leave. We shall proceed his plan, and we'll destroy this infernal machine. Traveling through time has become much too painful. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's weighing on, on, on the doc's heart right now. Aww, he's so heartbroken. Know, he don't even know That's it. what I'm saying. If I was Doc, I'd stay there. Uh, I would not. Oh, I'm saying. <laughs> girl, you're on your own, girl. You're on your own. Find you a new man. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be like, no, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you with us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Emmett, won't you come in? No, I better not. I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? Well, where are you going? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll never see you again. Damn it. I want you to know that I care about you deeply, but I realize that I don't belong here, and I have to go back where I came from. And where might that be? I can't tell you. And wherever you go and take me with you. I can't, Clara. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but just believe me when I tell you that I'll never forget you. Please, Emmett, please. I have to know. Tell me the truth. Mm -mm, don't tell her. Don't tell her. I'm from the future. And tomorrow I have to go back to the year 1985. You lying. Ah! Oh, I've heard some whoppers in my day. So insulting and degrading. All you had to say is I don't love you and I don't want to see you anymore. But that's not the truth. <laughs> so basically, she don't believe nothing about he, he from the future. No. She just, she just think that. He like don't he love just, her. He just came to tell her some, some BS. Yeah, they, they That's had to what leave she town. Thinks. Yeah. Whiskey, Chester. Emmett, are you sure you know what happened to you on the 4th of July? Whiskey. Then you can leave the box. <laughs> what time is it, Doc? Oh, no! What did he do? He almost. Oh, he's gone! Yeah, because he's still at the bar. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he was drinking that whiskey all night. And in the future, we don't need horses. Oh my gosh. How the doctors in there drinking whiskey and just telling, just telling all the business? How much has he had? None. That's the first one. What? He just likes to hold it. <laughs> Doc! Doc! I've lost her, Marty. All right, but that's why you gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. Right. Let's get going. Here's to you, Blacksmith. <laughs> and to the future. Amen. Damn it, no! What happened? Oh, that's all it took. Oh, no! 
Give me some coffee. Black. Joey, coffee. <gasps> oh, they're coming. They got in. 15 coming. minutes. Oh, my gosh. He has 15 minutes. The doctor's yeah. not going to be awake in 15 Come minutes. Come on. San Francisco is the end of the line. I'll take a one way ticket. Maybe that might be the same train that they're going to be yeah, on. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Wake up, Doc. Come on. Come on. Seamus, wouldn't expect to see you here this morning. Hey, well, something inside me told me I should be here. Come on, Doc. Let's go, Doc. Let's wake up now, buddy. Come on. It's not 8 o'clock yet. It is by my watch. All right, you got the gumps. I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Uh-oh. Don't listen. No. You better face up to it, son. If you don't go out there... What? What if I don't go out there? Everybody got their money better to get you. And you'll be branded a coward for the rest of your days. Do it for the family. You gutless yellow pie slinger. He's an asshole. I don't care what Tannen says, and I don't care what anybody else says either. Man, yeah, look, 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 look. He hopped up. Popped up with the quickness, <laughs> too. Some popped up like that. Are you coming out here, or do I have to come in there after you? Oh, they're going out the back. They straight skip, they straight skip that showdown. Go, you gotta get to the car. It's already getting, good. It's already getting ready to take oh, off. Oh, no. Eight o'clock. They are so about to be stuck. Yeah. Both of them. I've never seen a man so broken up over a woman. Kara, Sarah, Clara. Clara! Was this man tall, with great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair? You know him. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Ooh. Oh, she no. Still took off running. They might kill Clara. Oh, She's running back to them. Prepare to meet your maker. I don't think it's going to be Clara. I think it's gonna be Marty's great 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 grandfather. Him right there. So I'm not gonna stand on the side either. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside, look out the window. <laughs> I'm not trying to get hit by shrapnel. This fool's crazy. <laughs> what if he miss? Bro! Oh, city watching. No! <laughs> huh? I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong. <laughs> he just fell. He, he didn't even hit him. He could have. He just fell to the ground. He had to have something on the knees. Like, come on, man. <gasps> oh. Come on, Clint Eastwood. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> they good for that. He is good the for that. Manua. Put him face down in it, too. <laughs> go. You got to go. I mean, I thought somebody was going to die for us. I did, too. <laughs> One of them was going to die. She thought he was just playing. She about to figure out that he. That's what he. That's, that what that's he really, where it is. Yeah, because yeah, the, the the car is sitting on the track. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, go! Get it up, horse. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, they doing that so they can go up there and get in the car. Oh, let I hope it work. It has to work. Rage! Is this a whole lot? It's a science experiment. <laughs> he said it's a science experiment. <laughs> I would have been like, what? How are they going to get into the car with the, the train moving? Oh, they got to, okay. Yeah, they're going to bump it and they probably just like climb into it. Oh, okay. I don't know. Ready to roll! <laughs> Oh, 
Uh oh. <laughs> but Doctor has to get in there too, then. He's going to climb out. He's going to climb out. Climb forward. Go away, man. The engine blows. Perfect. <laughs> Ooh, that was look, 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 look. Oh, like a turbo boost. <laughs> hey, Doc, we just hit 35. Okay. If she don't make it, she gonna fall in, off the bridge. Yeah. He said they had 35 miles per hour. They got a long way to go. She better hurry and get up there, cause one more boost. She can boost it off. The yellow line's about to blow. <laughs> Dolly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> come on, babe. Come on. He gotta oh, hurry no. up. Is he gonna make it? He gonna go back. We'll have to take her back with us. Keep Chloe up to speed. Hurry up, girl. Ah, come on, Clara. And she oh, and she got on the dress crack. and everything. <laughs> with the heels on. <laughs> 60 miles an hour, huh? Man, they're picking up speed. They're picking oh up speed, gosh. too. Oh, my gosh. They're not gonna make it, babe. Let's go. Well, girl, jump. She already... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. They better hold on for this one. Hold on. Ooh. 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 Come on. Oh my gosh. Look the back end of it. They going way too fast. Oh, they got the hoverboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. She put the ball right on her head. Oh no. Oh no, the, the engine. Whole, yeah, the ball about to blow. Oh snap. All he gotta do is just hold on to her. He's not gonna make it to the car though. Oh my gosh, this dang girl. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it. Come on. Where are you going? Get in the car. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, he's gonna stay. Thing blew up. Oh, Smoke, my. rockets, sparks, Why? fire. Why did he go back? Cause, cause he was gonna initially stay anyways. So he just decided to stay. He, they won't go make it to. They won't go make it to get in. The doc had to make the ultimate sacrifice. He had to go back with his friend or stay for love. <laughs> so he was riding off with her. He was like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna go back." <laughs> Look at everybody looking at him. Look, 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 look. <laughs> He's just rolling on the railroad track. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, here go him destroying the time machine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's no way now he can, there's no way he can go oh back now. Oh my gosh. Well, it is destroyed. He did that. No, not without Doc. No. <laughs> Look what he got on now. No, he's still on his little western outfit. I feel like Marty right now. I'm already starting to miss Doc right now. I know. You know, they close friends. 
So did he run home? Yeah, he ran home. There's a the truck. Watch it, Biff. 40! I, I didn't mean to scare you. I, I didn't recognize you in those clothes. I really like that hat, Marty. Thanks, Biff. <laughs> She's still laying there on the porch. Biff is such a loser. Yeah. He's got, all you gotta do is go back and wake her up. Mm hmm. Because in all likelihood, they probably only been gone for like five minutes or so. Yeah. Jennifer. Isn't that like. Oh my gosh, wake up. Wake up there. Wake up. Uh, Raising shine, sweetness. You know what I mean? Look. Oh, oh, here's the wake up. Oh. Oh, wake me. Wake me with a kiss. You have to wake up here with a kiss. Look. Oh. <laughs> Marty. I had the worst nightmare. <laughs> You're not the only one. All right, back on the on the on the rail track. Shit, I'm gonna find something over here though. Doc's never coming back. Yeah, but he probably had about 50 kids though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's the picture. I'm sure you're gonna miss him, Jen. No way. No. Please don't tell me. You are lying. There's no way. He's and there's no back. train. There's Where's no the tra train. <laughs> Say. You are lying. What? What the heck? Doc! Freddy! He runs on steam! Clara! Meet the family! Clara, you know! Hi, Marty! These are our boys! Jules! Ah! Uh, and Vern! Ah! <laughs> this is Marty and Jennifer. Doc, I thought I'd never see you again! Well... I didn't want you to be worried about me. Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. So make it a good one. We will, Doc. Where are you going now? Back to the future? Nope. Already been there. <laughs> it didn't already been there. <laughs> no way. Go to the future. Wow! Look how that ended like that too. Yeah! That was so good! <laughs> I did not think that this movie was going to end out like this. Yeah! Oh. Neither did I. Not, not even one iota. Neither did I. I don't think. I don't even think that we got any of our predictions right. <laughs> and we're also what we thought that was going to happen. <laughs> I don't think we did either. Yeah, because they didn't even he didn't even use the uh the car other than to the end. Well, because I think what it was is that when when uh when Marty took off on part two, when he took off at the end, like at part two, yeah, and then he came running yeah. back and I was like, Well, how's he gonna get back if Marty took the car? But the car was buried. So they had to go back and find the car. Because <laughs> yeah, he remember he had that yeah. note that yeah, told him where it. the car would be. Yeah, yeah. But like, oh, I really like this. I love I did how they too. did this. I thought that was the end of Doc. <laughs> I did too. I, did, I didn't know I how. I thought that was the end. I didn't know how this was going to turn out. I kind of felt like in a way that, that you know, they would go back to the Western and, you know, he would probably like kill a couple bad guys or get a yeah. couple of bad guys locked up and then they would leave. But it threw me for a whole different look when they put Clara in there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I told you that there was going to be a reason why they were going to have to go back there. Like, they had to go back. And so, the way that it ended, though, I thought this one was, y'all, I liked all three of them. I yeah, really did. I, I feel too. like the part the part three, like this this one really was like the icing on the cake. It kind of brought everything together in terms of like the entire trilogy. And really, it's like, there's no way you can see part two or part three without seeing part one. Yeah, none go, of it will make sense. You can't go watch... Uh, part two, and then go back and watch. I don't one. know any, why anybody would want to no do way, that. And, and I, I believe that's like the geniusness of this trilogy. This too. whole thing is like you have to watch it from one, two, two and then three. And then three, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because it is like it, it is a like like you said, it's a continuum. It's a it's a continuous, you know, a continuous journey. So are they gonna do a part four? Where is he going with the family? Because wait, but then how did he get the kids? That's what I'm saying. He stayed. He stayed in the past with Clara, and they had kids. Right, but that was like a matter of like what, like 
10 minutes that he did everything that he had just did? Well, well and then when he came back, he had kids and everything. Right, but in the future is different. I mean, in the past is different. Like 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 you can go back in the past and a year a year or so go by, but a, a year a, a year in the past is really only like 5 minutes in the future. Oh. Th that's why well, that, 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 that's why that had to have been like 5 6 years cuz them were some big kids. Yeah, so some years like years years years. And then it took him time to build a whole new machine too. Oh right, cause then he was like it runs off a of steam. So That's ain't, ain't no telling, ain't no telling how how long it's been in the past. But would have been in the past, he he, he can go at, at any point and do anything, right? Like be, basically, right? Because remember that he sent he sent them back at eleven a.m. Right. And so all he had to do was type a hit eleven oh five. And that's five minutes after they got back. Right. You know what I mean? So. Oh, okay. So to him, it was just five minutes. Ten from, minutes, But yeah. like in the past, it was like. Ten, probably ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it took him ten years to be able to go to the future and build something so he could go to 1105 at the exact same time that Marty and them would be on the rail track. Yeah. Yeah. That is so crazy. And they're like, and they're like super genius. Like it's the, so like. like, like the thing, you got to be like a, a, a forward thinker to kind of. Be able You're to kind of put this one together. Dimension. Yeah, that's what in fourth, fourth dimension. and fifth dimension. Yeah. It's gonna take a lot of dimensions. This get. was so good. This was so. I'm glad that we actually watched the entire trilogy, y'all, because because I was just gonna be like, oh, okay, we can just watch the first one, and mm -hmm. get y'all really, really were pushing that we did two and three, and I'm so glad that we did. This was good, and we see why too. This is probably one of the best trilogies. Well, I haven't seen a lot, <laughs> you know, movies in general, but this is probably like one of the like probably the best trilogy I think I've seen so far. Yeah, so far that was put together, and it's crazy because this was. All the way back in like the 80s that they had made this movie. So Steven Spielberg, like now I can see like why he's such a well-respected, mm -hmm. like, you know, produce, like, you know, a writer, producer, how he puts his movies it, and it's stuff really, together. It was Steven Spielberg and uh, Robert uh, Zemeckis. Right. As far as like the writing. Producing, like producing, the production and stuff it, like yeah. that. Putting the storyline together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was genius. Like yes. they couldn't have put it together any better than how it was, like how it played out. It was funny too at the same time. It was... It was crazy. Very, like they, very, very hilarious. Yeah, they kept it very minimal in terms of like the, you know, the violent aspect of it. It kept it still funny, humorous. That kept you but on the, the edge. The more like PG. You yeah, know? yeah, like there, it just took you on a complete road all the way to the end, where all the way to the point of getting back into the car <laughs> and getting it. And I'm like, no, he left Doc. You and, know. And like, the, and like, it's like, and it's like the same type of. It's, it's, that, it's like the same type of dramatic feel that you get. Yeah. It's like the like the last ten minutes of the movie. Right. It's like, so it's, like, like it's like it's like a oh, come, come on, come on. And, and, and all three movies had that type that of like same feeling. that type of like layout, that type he of feel. He barely made it every end. time. So yeah. You saw how he was acting in the bar. I was, when he was in the bar, I'm like, okay, okay, he he, okay, okay. I need you to get it together. Put him on the horse. How do you need to get him there? Okay. <laughs> 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 He wake him up. Shoot. Doc need to get up. Yeah, and it was good that he woke up too. Yeah. But no, I, I put it on everything. I really thought that that Marty's great, great, great grandfather. I thought he was gonna like sacrifice his life for Marty or something. Yeah. In some kind of way. But yeah. Well he couldn't intense. he couldn't have done that because it would have altered the future. If, it would have, yeah. If something would have happened to him because yeah. the baby was supposed to be his Grandfather. So, right? as long, so as long as the baby survived, then he would have had Marty, yeah. and Marty, and everything would have kept going on. So yeah. that's why I felt like the great great Maybe. great grandfather okay. would have died. Yeah, but. I thought about that too. I was like, well, if something happens, the baby's already here. Yeah. yeah. So that part of it couldn't be altered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It still wow. it, it still would have been altered a little bit, but it, the outcome wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been that great. Other than saying that your great 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 grandfather died doing this. Right. That, that, yeah. Yeah. Ah, I enjoyed it, y'all. This was so good. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this. If y'all enjoyed this trilogy with us. If y'all haven't seen them, we did uh, the first part, second part as well. So y'all just gotta, gotta go back Definitely. to check those out. And check if y'all enjoyed this, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. And if ain't nobody else told you, we love you. And we are gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace and <laughs> blessings. Yeah. See y'all next time. Yeah. Bye. See y'all sooner later. Mwah.